another day to live through. Better get started. December 1965. Is that all it has been since I inherited the world? Only three years. It seems like a hundred million. day there are more of them. They live off the weak ones and leave them for the pit. KW calling. Come in. KOKW calling. I'm on international frequency. Come in. There was a 
a time when eating was pleasurable. Now it bores me. Just fuel for survival. I'll settle for coffee and orange juice this morning. But first, there's my life to consider. I'd better replace that garlic. Stop off and get them. I can't afford the luxury of anger. Anger can make me vulnerable. It can destroy my reason, and reason's the only advantage I have over them. I've got to find where they hide during the day. Uncover every one of them. Now, where did I finish off yesterday? Madison Street to 31st Avenue. Eleven kills. Over three years. And there's more than half the city I haven't searched. flesh apart so their body seal can't function. And how many more of these will I have to make before they're all destroyed? They want my blood. It's their lives or mine. And I still get squeamish. Wait. That garlic. I'd better put it back where it belongs. I can't live a heartbeat away from hell and forget it. stop I'll have to make. I can get rid of them later. Right now I'm out of gas.
still fresh. But I'll take only what I need. They've got to last. I've got my life to worry about. Those mirrors have to be replaced before dark. search. Feeling better? Yes. Would you like a cup of coffee? Thank you. You seem very well organized here. Yeah. My name is Ruth Collins. I was married. I lost my husband. You are alone. You were married. Yes. Children. My daughter. What are you doing? Please stop, please. Stop it, please. You're making me sick. Why do you turn please. away? Please. Why do you turn away? <laughs> to garlic. You think I'm one of them? You will be. You've made up your mind just because I... You can't change the facts by talking. Facts? What facts? That I got sick? I've had a sensitive stomach all my life. I saw my husband killed, torn to pieces right in front of our house. I've been wandering ever since, hiding at night. Not eating more than scraps. Sick with mourning. Sick with fear. Unable to sleep. Then you shout at me. You chase me across a field. Hit me. Drag me to this house. And to top it all, when I get sick because you shove a piece of reeking garlic in my face, you tell me I'm infected. Where are Let you going? Go. You can't go out there. It's almost sunset. Let me go, You can't I said. go out there. Now, in a few minutes, care. the streets will be full of... Let me up. go. At I least, let me give you a blood test. Don't touch me. 
Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You must be hungry. I'll fix you some dinner. You know, you should eat. I can't. You seem used to them. Oh, as much as anybody could be. I'm not frightened of them anymore, if that's what you mean. Oh, I protect myself against them, but only because they're so many. Individually, they're weak, mentally incompetent, like animals after a long famine. If they weren't, they surely would have found a way of breaking in here a long time ago. Come out, Morgan! Hear that? That's Ben Cortman. He was my friend. Your friend? He was like a kid brother. If I could find him and destroy him... But you said he was your friend. When I find him, I'll drive a stake through him, just like all the others. But you lived through all this. Do you know why? Perhaps I was chosen. Hm. That's a laugh. Or perhaps it's because a long time ago when I worked in Panama, I was bitten in my sleep by a bat. My theory is that the, the bat had previously acquired the vampire germ. By the time it entered my blood, it had been strained and weakened by the bat system. As a result, I have immunity. Well, it's only a guess, but it's all I have to go on. You don't think that I'm immune, do you? It's a simple matter to find out whether you are or not. What will you do if I am infected? Cure me? You don't have to answer. I know as well as you do. It's incurable. There might be a way. If not of killing the germ, at least of containing it, keeping it from spreading. If I had the equipment, the time. But you don't. Injection, I'll be one again. What do you mean? You found a solution? That's right. Exactly as you said it could be. I take that for it. What is it? Defibrinated blood plus vaccine. The blood feeds the germ. The vaccine keeps it isolated and prevents it from multiplying. We've had it for some time now. We? We? There are quite a number of us. And I thought you were alone. I was going to cure you. Does that amuse you? No. Now, I want the truth. I want all of it. Why are you here? 
to find out if you know any more than we do. You know far less. We're alive. Infected, yes, but alive. We're going to reorganize society. Do away with all those wretched creatures who are neither alive nor dead. Start everything all over again. And you want me to join? You can't join us. You're a monster to them. Why do you think I ran when I saw you? Even though I was assigned to spy on you, because I was so terrified of what I'd heard about you. You're a legend in the city, moving by day instead of night, leaving as evidence of your existence bloodless corpses. Many of the people you destroyed were still alive. Many of them were loved ones of the people in my group. I didn't know. Is there any way you can get out of here? What do you mean? They're coming after you tonight. That's why I was sent here. To prevent you from resisting them. I'm supposed to keep you here. Until they come. To kill me? Yes. Your new society sounds charming. The beginning of any society is never charming or gentle. And you pretended to be shocked at my violence. Well, what are you waiting for? Why don't you go on and use it? Get it over with. Use it. Get it over with. <laughs> Now you know. What are you going to do? What are you doing? It's already done. What? Look. Look! You see, it worked, Ruth. The antibodies in my blood worked. My blood has saved you, Ruth. Do you know what this means? You and I can save all the others. We won't be alone. We'll never be alone again. You are sure? Wait. Don't be afraid.
Where are you going? I've got to get out of here. Tell them you're not a threat to us. You can't go out there. You, you save wouldn't all of get us. ten feet. When they come here, there won't be time for questions and answers. They'll come to kill. For God's sake, Robert, let me go. Oh, Robert, please. Ruth, look, tomorrow. Please. Oh, Robert. Tomorrow, Ruth. Tomorrow will no. be all right. Robert, no. Robert. Yes, Ruth. But if this doesn't last. But it will. I've already checked it under the microscope. Wait, I'll show you. I'll prove it to you. I'll check it again. Take a look at this. This will prove it to you. Ruth, there's no change. I've double checked.
you freaks. Mutation. Don't cry. There's nothing to cry about. We're all safe now. All safe. Thank <laughs> you. 